Welcome guys to another video. Today we are going to be talking about light gauge steel and that's what is behind me. Uh, the client wanted to use this material to roof his four bedroom bungalow that is located in Gong. Uh, don't mind the noise in the background because this is an active construction project and there's a lot of noise going on about with the various activities that are ongoing. So coming back, uh, watch this video if, you, if you're thinking of roofing your house using light gauge steel and also if you'd like to learn and discover more about LGS. What is LGS? What are the benefits of LGS? Why should I use LGS over timber? We're going to cover that in this video. I'll be joined in by the contractor in charge of this project who'll chip in with his views, with his opinions, with his experiences with light gauge steel. I'm Nick Mema from Property Noma and without wasting any more of your time, Let's discover what light gauge steel is all about. Uh, welcome back, uh, Mr. Chomba. Thank you. Now, I can see the client uh, decided to use uh, LGS, yes. light gauge steel. Yes. So, for the viewers who don't know what light gauge steel is, can you introduce uh, this material to them? Oh, thank you. Now, uh, this is a uh, light gauge steel, as you can see. It is steel, yeah. but uh, also a combination of uh, zinc and uh, alloy. And uh -huh. that's why it is called a uh, light gauge. Yeah. As the name suggests, someone might thought, uh, is it light that uh, it cannot bear the weight of, the, of a roof? Yeah. But uh, light is still the name. It's just a name. Yeah. But uh, it is still, uh -huh. it is very strong. Yeah. Uh, Actually, I, remember, I think it's light because it, it's light to carry. If you yeah, compare this to, carry, to yeah. like a timber, yes. to a timber prop of the same, yes. this is lighter than that. Yeah. So I think that it, that's where it gets its name. Yeah. But also, uh -huh. you cannot compare the, the strength of a steel uh, with timber. Yeah. So the reason as to why, basically, uh, we, we, because uh, the client told us, uh, yeah. he saw one of our posts. We did the, the, some of the projects that we did uh, way back. Uh, I think it was 2018, 2019. Yes. So he saw and uh, he inquired more information about it. Yeah. And uh, there's, a, there's a very big advantage of using light gauge steel yes. over timber. timber. Yeah. yeah. So and what are those uh, advantages? One advantage of it, you can see there are so many pieces. Yes. These are not cut off. Yeah. These are specification pieces that are going to be assembled. Ah. This truss, mm -hmm. it is pre-engineered at the factory. Okay. Yeah, we furnish the, the the factory with the with the drawing. Yes. They come up with the with the frame of the trusses. Uh -huh. So every truss has its own bundle. It, yeah. it came with bundles. Yeah. So meaning every every steel, every piece, even this one that I'm holding this, it's, uh, it's, it's part going, of it's part of somewhere. Okay. It's yeah. it's going to fit somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, the advantage of it is that uh, you know, as like timber. You can't get the specific measurement you want. Yeah. Maybe you'd want like uh, two meters, but the one that they are selling, they can't cut the two meters, and then they are left with one meter. Yeah. So you have to carry the whole the whole of it. Mm -hmm. So coming to site, the amount of timbers that uh, will be left as yeah, cut off as waste. There are so many. Yeah. And uh, you know they are also accounted. They are the, also part of the, the of bill. the bill. Yeah. So that is one one major advantage of it is that it is pre-engineered at the factory. Yes. So when they come to site, they only assemble to different uh, specification and their uh, and uh, dimensions. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So once you've assembled uh, the trusses, yes. They have, uh, I was here during the day and I saw that they were assembling the trusses here on site. Yes. So how will they get now? the top of the roof now uh, after assembling yeah now they are going to be mounted yeah. on top of the roof yeah where by now they'll be uh, lifted by ropes yes and then now they are mounted at the wall plates yeah. of the house uh, our wall plates here yeah uh, as you can see this uh, house because of the span yeah we decided to do some 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 parts they have beams the yes. concrete beams yeah some parts they don't have. Yeah. Uh, we depending on the uh, the sea channels. Yeah. As the at Zadinto. Okay. I think uh, we covered that last time. Yeah. Uh, one of the videos. So they are going to be mounted there. Yeah. And then uh, now after mounting, yeah. that's when now they are going to we are going to put the palings. Palings uh -huh. now this the the tumors that normally carries the the mabati. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, so. <clears throat> Uh, what material did the client choose for the roofing? 
for the roofing tile now. For the roofing tile, yes. the roof covers. Yes, the roof covers. Uh, the uh, iron sheet, uh -huh. uh, the versatile. The versatile. Gauge 28. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So this this trusses, as you can see here, yeah, it has a capability of uh, maybe bearing a, any load of the roof of cover. The roof. So Be even. It, uh, the heaviest uh, roof tile, like the clay roof tile. Yeah, can... it still it can still cover. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bearing in mind also, yeah, the same trusses. Yes. They're able to carry a uh, water tank. You know, the the is still a uh, water tank they are put inside the house. Yes. Yes. It can still carry, ah. so it has that capacity to carry. Okay. So it has yes. that strength. Yeah, it has that strength to carry. Ah. Yeah. So advantages of uh, steel of uh, oh, timber right. yeah. is that uh, you see how you, the timber oh, after you buy the timber, you have to treat them yes. Yes. because you are treating against now At you know the destruction of like, termites and uh, yeah. you know and those but, uh, like yes yeah. uh, which is very common yes. especially you know in these areas where there is a uh, red soil yes but uh, in in bad gauge. You know, you don't, you don't, uh, need to treat. you don't treat it yes. because you can't treat <laughs> still. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's covered. Uh, it cannot, uh, it, it cannot rust. Uh, because of the yeah, zinc. Because now. of the zinc. Uh -huh. And also, uh, some other advantages is that uh, it cannot cripple. You know, uh -huh. you know, sometimes you buy timber. Yeah. And uh, by the time you are going to place it, it has already developed some, some shape. More, yeah, some yeah, warps. Which, yeah. yeah, which also distorts the, you know, the placement of the iron sheet. Yes. So you find that uh, sometimes the roof is not even, not uh -huh. because the workmanship is not good. Yes. But sometimes because the the timbers they, they they've been exposed to that direct uh, you know change yeah. of weather or something. Yeah. And then now they started uh, crippling. Okay. Yeah. And so would you say this one they are not afraid. They they they, they have that capability. Okay. Yeah. Of not crippling and uh, you know. Okay. Yes. Would you say uh, installing LGS trusses is faster than timber trusses. Yeah, I would say so because yeah. uh, one, yeah. uh, you're not cutting anything. Yes. Yeah, you only need a drill and the screws to 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 screw the those parts. Yeah. To combine Just those to parts the, to yeah to form the the, the truss. Mm -hmm. So like this, uh, we've done it. This is the third day. Yes. And. Uh, only that uh, we have we had many more technician to do that yes yeah because of you know because uh, we uh, we still did, we, we were not in a hurry yeah because uh, we had not also uh, finished, uh, finished some, work uh, and... some work there mm -hmm. so we were doing with just three technicians yes and uh, you can see the amount yeah. of work that yeah. has been done, done some several trusses yeah, yeah. so okay. it's very easy yeah. to install or rather to to put the trusses together okay yeah so now let's talk about cost. Yes. For someone who is really who is at the stage of roofing their yes. house. Yes. And, and now they're thinking about LGS versus timber. Yes. Uh, which is which is beneficial to them financially. Yes. Uh, in in terms of cost per meter per, per square meter. Okay, I can say in terms of cost. Yes. One, uh, roofing is normally determined by the by the design. Yeah, yeah, because you can have a different design, which can fit the timber. You know the the, the input of timber. Yes, you can have different design yeah. that uh, you can weigh options yes. and see which is more affordable than the, than other. the other. In this uh, project, yes, uh, we looked at the design first. Yeah, we looked at the availability of a uh, roofing material yeah. that is timber and uh, light gauge. Yeah. And we did a comparison. Yes. And uh, we came to realize that uh, uh, light gauge steel, it's more affordable than timber. Yes. As per now, yeah. uh, timber has really, uh, has, uh -huh. the price of timber has really gone up. Okay. Maybe because of one, one thing or the other, uh, an availability of, of, of trees, you yes. know. And uh, so also uh, restriction yeah. by also government yes. that uh, we need to preserve, you know, uh, natural, uh, you know, the natural uh, uh, part of, uh, of of the country. Yeah. So I think uh, because of that, timber has uh, it, it's very expensive. Okay. The price of timber is a little, a little bit expensive. Oh. So we chose the client uh, decided to go with light gauge steel. Yes. 
mainly because of the cost. Mainly because of the cost. Yeah. Okay. Mainly because of the cost. Yeah. And also maybe you can ask of the availability. Yes. Mostly availability of things yes. are done or maybe they become successful yeah. because of the prior arrangements yeah. or rather prior engagement. So when we decided of the light gauge steel, yeah. we decided way back even before we started installing the, 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 the roof. Yeah. So we did that arrangement, we paid some deposit, yeah. and that's why we have gotten them on time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I think availability of it, yeah. it's already available. Yeah. You can't get it instantly. Yeah, you have but, to give uh, maybe some time after some maybe design, two, three days. Yeah. Because they have mm. to design and also now they have to go to the factory now, cut the trusses okay. Okay. according to the specifications. Yeah. Yes. Ah. So mm. um, do you recommend LGS to someone who has never Maybe this is their first time seeing this material. Yes. Would you recommend them to build their, their roof for using LGS? I think uh, any time yeah. I would recommend uh, light gate steel. The okay. same way I've always recommended these other technologies that we are adapting. Yeah. Because like... we, can't, we can't advocate for something mm -hmm. that uh, is more expensive or rather it's more way above uh -huh. uh, the normal you know yeah. the the normal convectional way. Yeah. So I think one of the thing one of the things that makes us even advocate more on those technologies, one it is because of the availability, and also time, mm -hmm. time for installation and time for you know fixing the roof. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, short than compared to maybe if Isn't we had uh, chosen to do with timber. Okay. Yes. Ah, something else, huh? because of their lightweight nature. Yes. Does it affect now the foundation design? No, that, that's a very good question. Yeah. Uh, yes, you know, a bungalow, mm -hmm. uh, the bungalow, the weight of the bungalow, yeah. it also affects the foundation uh, nature of it. Yes. But uh, looking at the foundation, or rather when you're building, yeah. uh, you may not uh, consider the weight of the foundation, the, yeah. the, the, the roof first, so that we can omit some of the things that need to be done, or yeah. maybe... You know, you cannot co uh, compromise the foundation because, because you have changed the, the, okay. the, the, the type of roofing that you are going to have. Yes. Rather, when you do a uh, foundation according to the, you know, the f specification and uh, all the conditions that are, are, are designed, yes. you, are more likely, uh, you are more likely to... Okay, let me put it this way. The weight of the roof, yeah. because it is light gauge, it is a little bit uh, light. Yeah. So it cannot affect uh, the, uh, the, the nature of foundation yeah. in the future, you know, in the future run. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I okay. think uh, that's also very, very important. Yeah. 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 Because now you have reduced the weight of the roof. Yeah. So basically, it cannot affect the, the foundation, the, the nature of the foundation. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, suppose someone wants to design an attic space. Yes. Uh, does LGS accommodate for that? Very much. Okay. Because you can carve it, because uh, it can be cut into different sizes. Yeah. And it can also be cut into different shapes. Uh -huh. I think uh, that one is okay. That one is okay. Yeah, it's okay with it. You can do a circular, you know, circular par, uh, design. Yeah. Yeah. So it's flexible in terms it's of design. It's very flexible, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can cut it, you yeah. can, yeah. Uh, Mr. Chomba, yes. what is the durability of LGS uh, when you compare it to timber? Okay, uh, durability, or rather yeah. the lifespan of light gauge steel, yeah. since it is steel, yeah. uh, you are guaranteed that uh, it's going to last for a very long time. Yeah. Since, you know, it is not uh, affected by termites and, uh, you know, fungus. Yeah. You know? Uh, it's not affected. Sometimes you can have the leakage on the, on the roof. Yeah. And you know, you see now when water it's gets into the air yeah, ships into the into the uh, timber. Yeah. Some at some times the timber becomes very weak. It starts yeah. to rot. Yes. Uh -huh. But uh, the steel, this steel, because of the zinc, even yeah. if there was a bit of uh, leakage, it is not affected by water. So it won't. Uh, yeah. It's anti. It's uh, anti rust. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah, it it doesn't rust. Okay. And also just to cover one on uh, on the on the weight, as yeah. as they say, or rather as the term described, it's light, light, light. It ensures that the the weight of the roof is reduced. Yeah. And that's 
it's assurance that uh, the way you did a foundation, because of the lightweight in it, yeah. it cannot affect the, the foundation. Okay. Yeah, in terms of maybe, uh, you know, an, 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 uh, something that maybe was not done right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it, uh, it provides that. Uh -huh. Yes. So. so guys, I hope the questions you had about LGS uh, roofing were answered in this video. Uh, because this is an ongoing uh, construction project, I've been documenting the process and today they were doing the LGS roofing. So I thought it was a good idea to just uh, break it off as its own separate video and publish it for you. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see the whole video of this four bedroom bungalow being constructed right from installing the precast panels to the LGS roofing and all the way to the finishing. In case you want uh, to consult me with anything, uh, you'll find my contact details in the description and also in the pinned comment below. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.